Spooktober story time. I am Miss Ellie. And I'm Miss Edie. And today we are going to be sharing some Halloween stories to share with you and your family. Come along. We're going to open along with the good, the bad, and the spooky from Jory John and Pete Oswald. I'm in a bad mood. A bad mood. Oh yeah, it's true. Do you want to know why I'm feeling so grumpy right now? Huh? Do you? Well, it's Halloween, which is my personal favorite holiday. I'll wait all year long for this very evening. But listen to this. I don't have a costume yet. Look, I look around and nothing works for me. What a problem. <sighs> wait until last minute. I've been thinking about costumes for weeks now and I honestly gave it my best shot. For instance, I've already tried dressing up as a ghost, boink, but I can't see. I'm a vampire, but I can't talk. And a robot, I can't move. Everything looks so uninspiring, it turns out that I'm just putting together a perfect original show-stopping costume. It's just basically impossible. used to be so much fun. My friends and I would always gather up and dress up together. Oh, the memories. One year we went as a rock and roll band called the Seedles. The next year we went as our favorite condiments. Ketchup, mustard, relish. Oh, and then there was a time we all went as cartons of eggs. We were cracking up the whole night. But things changed, as they often do. Times marched on. We all got a little older. A little more independent, but I just can't shake this feeling that everybody, and I mean it, everybody, is going to outdress me this year. After all, I live on a sunflower in a field where everyone takes Halloween very seriously. Very seriously. I have no idea why. No idea. See, how can I compete with that? And that? bad mood this year. A bad mood with a bad attitude. Sheesh. There's only one thing that I can think of that will even things out. I need to trick everybody into thinking Halloween has been postponed until tomorrow night. You got a plan? Yeah, and I have a bit more time to get my costume together. Excuse me, out of my way. Move, please. Coming through. Pardon me. A seed is on a mission here. Attention, everybody, attention. Mmm, let's see, um, there's a big thunderstorm on the way. Uh, that's right, a storm. And also, uh, a herd of sea-eating squirrels racing toward us. Yikes, watch out, squirrels, rain, thunder. Not a good combination for your safety. Please come home, head home this instant. We will resume Halloween tomorrow night. Gosh, that sounds crazy. That sounds spooky. Bummer. I already had my outfit picked out. There, that should do it. There's no more competition, no more hurt feelings, and most importantly, no more costumes. What a relief. I beg your pardon. Yes, what do you need? If I may be so bold, it seems like you're not enjoying yourself this evening as a fellow seed from the harvesting patch. In fact, as a pumpkin seed, we all know about the pressures of Halloween this year. But listen, Halloween is more about costumes and candy, Mr. Seed. It's crunching through the autumn leaves, about decorating, and spending time with your friends. It's all about togetherness. And it's all about the community. Look around. This is supposed to be fun. Nobody really cares what you're wearing. They just want to have a good time. Look at us. We made these costumes in five minutes. And we're having a blast. But just something to think about, Mr. Seed. Goodbye. Is it possible that I've been overreacting to Halloween? Have I made too big of a deal about something so small? I suppose I've been talking about a bad mood on everybody. Maybe nobody's really paying much attention to my costume. Everyone, perhaps Halloween doesn't need to be a competition after all. I've made a big mistake, but maybe it's not too late for me to fix this. Attention, everyone. It's me again. It's me. I have some news. 
There's no storm after all. There are no seed-eating rabbit squirrels. Barreling toward us. No big thunderstorm. It was all a big trick. Get it? Ha <laughs> ha. Big trick. Got you. We may continue getting treats now. Well, yay. That's good. Hooray. It's candy time. Ahem. I've made a big decision. I'm not worried less about the things that really don't matter. Not just on Halloween, but on the other days, too. I needed someone to talk some sense into me, like the pumpkin seed. Now I'm not in such in a bad mood anymore, and I don't have such a bad any mood anymore. As far as my costume, well, I'll just figure something out. What do you think it's going to be for Halloween? Later that same Halloween evening. Hello again. Check it out. I'm a squirrel. A spooky squirrel, right? And um, if you have the space, I'd love to join you guys. Of course, you see, it doesn't matter how much time you have on Halloween. You just have to make it a good time. I am having a ball. We. Well, some mystery seed, I'm glad you are finally into the Halloween spirit. And we haven't even gotten to the best part of the night yet. Take a look around. Well, now, this is a treat for everyone. A treat for everybody. Indeed, Mr. Seed. Indeed. Happy Halloween to us all. The we have end. another story to tell you about five little bats that went out one night. So we have five little bats went on a flight by the light of the moon one night. Mama bat said, squeak, 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 squeak. But only four little bats came back. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Only four little bats came back. So we have four little bats left. So we have four little bats went on a flight by the light of the moon one night. Mama bat said, squeak, 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 squeak. But only three little bats came back. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Only three little bats came back. So we have one, two, three little bats left. We have three little bats went on a flight by the light of the moon one night. Ma bat said squeak, 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 squeak. But only two little bats came back. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Only two little bats came back. We have how many bats left? Two. Good job. Two little bats went on a flight by the light of the moon one night. Ma bat said squeak, 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 squeak. We only have one little bat left. That's it. So now we have one little bat went on a flight by the light of the moon one night. Mama bat said squeak, 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 squeak. Now there's no little bats left. So sad mama bat went on a flight by the light of the moon one night. Mama bat said squeak, 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 squeak. And all five of her bats came back. Once upon a time, there was a great big pumpkin in the pumpkin patch. And all the goblins would love to pull that pumpkin patch off its vine. Well, first came along the vampire. And he pulled and pulled and pulled. But he could not pull that pumpkin off the vine. So he needed some help from the mummy. So the vampire and the mummy pulled and pulled and pulled together and they still could not get it off the vine. So here comes their friend, the ghost. So he helped the vampire, the mummy, and they pulled and pulled and they still couldn't get it off the vine. Oh, and here flew in the witch. She's come to help. And they all four pull and pull and pull and they still couldn't pull it off the vine. It was such a huge pumpkin. So the little bat flew in and he said, I can help get the pumpkin. And they just, <laughs> they laughed at the little bat. And he said, no, please let me help. So he flew in and he got in front of everyone and they pulled and they pulled and out came the big pumpkin. Yay, the little bat did it. I've got another story for you. This book is called Frankenstein and it was written by Samantha Berger. 
I bet we've got some kids out there who will one day, or even now, write a book. And it was illustrated by Dan Santat. Let's see what happens to Frankenstein. Have you seen Frankenstein? Oh, you would totally know if you had. You would say, good morning, how are you? Frankenstein would say, Bruh! You would say, who wants pancakes? Frankenstein would say, Bruh! Oh, he's cranky. You would say, time for school. And Frankenstein would say, You might see Frankenstein when it's super rainy outside. Ooh, look at the face in the mud puddle. Or when it's extra cold on Halloween. Or when it's way too hot for popsicles. Ah, especially when it's way too hot for popsicles. You can be sure to find Frankenstein in a long, long line. Frankenstein hates long, long lines. Or when it's time to take gross cough syrup. Frankenstein hates gross cough syrup. And you would definitely see Frankenstein when you say it's bedtime. Frankenstein hates when you say it's bedtime. <laughs> yes, that Frankenstein is some pretty scary business, all right. But just when you think that monster is here to stay, he might do something that surprises you because when Frankenstein meets another Frankenstein, maybe it just might take him, it just might make him laugh. At least for now, because that Frankenstein. Oh, he'll be back. But definitely not today. The end. This is a shadow play called In the Dark, Dark Woods. In the Dark, Dark Woods. There is a dark, dark house. And in the dark, dark house is a dark, dark door. Behind the dark, dark door is a dark, dark wardrobe. And in the dark, dark wardrobe is a dark, dark box. And in the dark, dark box is a Spider! It's a spider! In the dark, dark woods. It's a dark, dark house. And in the dark, dark house is a dark, dark door. And behind the dark, dark door is a dark, dark wardrobe. And in the dark, dark wardrobe is a dark, dark box. And in the dark, dark box is a, it's a pumpkin! Thank you for joining us today for our Halloween story time. Don't forget, on Saturday, we're having a drive through trick or treat and it's from two to three. So come on out.